Hello everyone, welcome to Sade's Tarot Tea. So today guys, I am so excited. I'm going to be doing a psychic reading on Sabrina Claudio. I'm pretty excited and nervous at the same time because Sabrina has had a past where some stuff has leaked out that she is racist. So we're going to go ahead and look into that and see if she is in fact racist. And we're going to look into her birth chart and see what kind of person she is because I'm pretty sure everyone is questioning what kind of person she, or question what kind of person she is since this information has leaked in the past about her. We're going to go ahead and look at that as well. If you would like to book a personal read reading with me, please email me at shadestarotty at yahoo.com. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, we'd love to have you here at the Teacup Family. <laughs> and also go ahead and hit that notification bell so you can know when I upload notification squad. What up? That was so fucking dumb. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and get into Sabrina Claudio and see what kind of person she is and what's to come for her as well as is she really racist? Hmm. Okay guys, so Sabrina Claudio, I'm going to only look at a portion of her birth chart. Obviously, you don't spend too much time on their birth chart just because this is not a birth chart reading. But she has her sun in Virgo, her moon is in Sagittarius, her Mercury is in Virgo, her Venus is in Leo, her Mars is in Leo. So right away, what Sabrina Claudio's in, uh, birth chart information is telling me through her energy is she is somebody that... She likes to laugh at herself. She likes to not take herself so seriously. She's very shy. She has that energy about her where she can be very shy with her communication because she's got that Mercury in Virgo. So she lives in her head a lot. She doesn't really express her thoughts uh, too tough. Like she has to be very comfortable around you is the energy I'm picking up from her. Um, she has to be very comfortable around you to tell you what she's really thinking to tell you how she's really feeling um she has a very like witty sense of humor very smart ass type of sense of humor she likes to be around people that can match her same intellect can match her same type of jokes um the biggest thing i'm picking up from sabrina is she doesn't take herself too seriously she doesn't like when people take her seriously she likes to laugh at a lot of things she has to have fun she has a lot of fire in her chart so that's telling me she gets bored very fast she does have a lot of leo energy in her chart she has that venus in leo and her mars is in leo so i could tell through her energy that she's very giving very understanding very patient um because of her virgo and her yeah, pretty much her Virgo. I don't know what her rising's in, but her energy, for some reason, even though she has a lot of fire in her chart, her um, it's telling me that she has a lot of patience for her friends and for people that she cares about. Um, but she's very antsy and has a lot of anxiety I'm picking up on, and I think Sabrina has been pretty open about that in the past. Um, she can, when you first meet her, come off very shy to herself, not really wanting to talk or engage. And um, it really takes Sabrina a long time to open up, I'd say, through her energy. Um, she can be a bit of a all-about-me type of person because she's got all that Leo in her chart. Um, my cards are also saying that Sabrina is, she comes off very guarded, but she's actually pretty open about her emotions and how she feels and that's through her writing i think we can tell that through her writing pretty much but this is more so when you get to know her as a person she lets her guard down pretty i'd say pretty easily when she um trusts you i can also tell through um sabrina claudio her moon and sag and her fire energy so that venus and mars and leo she is very restless she's very restless she likes to get out there and travel she likes to do things she likes things done her way she doesn't like holding out or waiting too long i'm picking up that with her career she's not very patient yeah nine of swords i'm picking up that as well through my cards my cards are picking up her personality she has very much a lot of anxiety um she she got my nine of swords card she has a lot of anxiety um i wouldn't even be surprised if sabrina has insomnia or i'm picking up on some form of insomnia or she may have some form of of course like restlessness which makes sense because she has all that fire in her chart especially in her moon 
Another thing I'm picking up with the Page of Wands in the reverse is that Sabrina doesn't talk a lot. She's very quiet, very introverted. She only talks around people, but even that's not a lot. She she only talks around people that are, um, she only talks around people that are like worth her energy or that she trusts completely. Um, picking up on a guy around Sabrina, so I don't know if she's dating right now. But there is a guy coming into her energy right now. It's the Knight of Pentacles. This could also just speak about that. Sabrina is more like giving than she is. She's more of a giver than a, a taker in her relationships. And she looks for men that are financially... Um, have something going for themselves. Because she is a Virgo. So Virgos long for that financial security. But she's very romantic because of her Venus and Leo. And she likes to be romanticized. She likes very big grants of romance, uh, romantic gestures because of that Venus and Leo. Mars and Leo, she can be very combative and patient. Um, I find Mars and Leos are also very sexual. Yeah, there's someone in Sabrina's energy. I think she's in a relationship or she's dating someone right now. That There's someone coming through very like heavily in her relationship. So that's already coming through for her. So we're, we'll touch more on... Sabrina Claudio, Six of Cups, yeah, as I was thinking about this racist situation that's happened, um, so let's pick, let's, let's see if she is racist, because before I get more into her energy, is Sabrina Claudio racist? There's somebody coming through in her energy, guys, she's in a relationship where she's dating, one of the two, um, okay, so honestly, guys, I was a little nervous to do this reading on Sabrina, just because I, I do like her, um, Am I going to let that cloud my judgment on her? No. If she's racist, then we're cutting the cord, right? But I am seeing in the past a big disappointment, how she disappointed a lot of her fans. Um, I am seeing her racist past is coming out. Um, guys, I am seeing that she's learned from it. I'm, I'm not saying this to be like, oh, you know, I love her, so I'm going to just say no. You guys saw what happened with Camila Cabello. Like, I was a big fan. Not anymore because more shit came out about her being racist. But the thing is about um, Sabrina Claudio's in, um, energy is that she definitely, definitely learned from the situation. And I'm seeing that there was some form of ignorance that occurred with her in her past. Now, if more information, we'll see if more information will come out about that. But I am picking up so far, guys, that she has learned because what's coming out and clarifying that, guys, is good energy. It's the um, the Wheel of Fortune and Justice in the Upright. So basically, the Wheel of Fortune talks about um, a karmatic cycle that Sabrina had to go through in her past. This is past energy. And she was very disappointed in herself. And she was disappointed that she had to learn and that her past got out actually so there was a form of like fuck like what do i do like my past is haunting me kind of thing and i'm seeing her go into hiding four swords taking some time to reflect i'm getting a lot of reflecting cards guys which is beautiful energy this is something i did not see when it came towards when it came to um uh camila's energy i did not see these cards come out for her but i'm seeing these cards come are coming out for sabrina um sabrina has really learned from her past and how ignorant she was she's actually very disappointed in herself i'm seeing a lot of beating herself up remember guys she is a virgo so virgos are they are judgy but when they make mistakes and they're they know that the mistake they made was wrong they do beat themselves up they do go into introspection and they do hide um, to learn and I'm seeing a form of retreating that happened with her with Sabrina and I'm seeing that karma Served its purpose in her life when it came to that because that was something she had to go through and that came back to haunt her So she could learn from it because if the truth is guys if she hadn't been caught Who knows if she would have still learned from it? I'm picking up that she wouldn't have learned from it. She wouldn't have felt ashamed of it um, She was already kind of feeling some shame for it, but it wasn't enough to like change her ways but since this shit got out about her being racist she's really learned and she took that on and she really like she really listened and educated herself in a sense and i'm seeing her like go to people and you know understand like okay like 
I understand what I said was hurtful. Like I'm seeing Sabrina like lose friends that were African American that she were she was close to or like family members. If Sabrina has like a brother or a sister, some like cousins or someone there's there's black people around her, but I'm not saying that justifies her actions, but there is um she did pay really badly for losing her um she she lost a lot of people in her life because of that guys um so loved ones i am seeing were very disappointed in her she had loved ones that were very fucking disappointed in her when they found that out and when that shit leaked like i'm seeing them call her they're like what the fuck like is this true like is this how you see us kind of thing um so maybe these were just also people that she considered family but i'm also seeing loved ones such as like family that are african-american or come from african-american descent you know i'm seeing them be very 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 disappointed in her guys she got it bad like she got backlash which she had to go through that to learn so i'm getting a lot of these cards jump right out for her so i'm getting a lot of reflective energy from her and she's learned from it so we're gonna see if she's still racist um so definitely seeing she's learned from it definitely she's learned her lesson so guys um i pulled on is sabrina claudio still racist i am picking up that she still has she still has some form of beliefs towards african americans um just because you know i believe if i'm not mistaken sabrina's hispanic um but she is learning to overcome those um adversities that or those those um thoughts that she had of african americans so i am seeing her of course she's still going to collaborate with them she being she loves being around african americans um i'm not seeing that she associates a lot with them such as like friends i, I don't know it's like okay so i'm picking up that it's hard for her to trust black people sometimes but i'm also seeing that a lot of african americans distance themselves from her so she's not really having the opportunity to really make amends so for that i am seeing some type of anger a little bit i'm feeling well more so i'm feeling it guys more so i'm feeling a little bit of resentment towards us but she is trying to move past it and she wants to try to be friends with our culture and make amends with our culture but it's been hard because there are a lot of african americans that don't like her now that don't trust her that think she's um a snake kind of thing um so yeah guys like i was saying i am seeing that she wants to be more included with the african american culture but i'm seeing a lack of trust um with them and that she doesn't really get to engage as, as much as she would like to because of her past so let's see if there's anybody in sabrina claudio's love life because somebody is coming out towards her let's see somebody coming out for sabrina claudio in her love life Page of Swords, someone definitely has their eye on her. Yep, or somebody is, I'm picking up, yes, she definitely, someone is very much interested in her. She has somebody highly, highly interested in her. Does not surprise me. Okay, guys, so I pulled on what is to come for Sabrina Claudio. I'm seeing that she, with the Ten of Cups in the reverse, guys, I'm seeing that something is not fulfilling her or she is no longer being fulfilled and she needs to really check back in spiritually with herself. I'm seeing there's a, there's a, there's a problem with that, of her checking back in with herself spiritually and trying to be better spiritually. Um, so we can see in the next year or so her a big shift in her music I feel like she's gonna get more progressive with her music. I don't see her getting bigger than what she is I feel like her touring with the weekend pretty much helped her but I don't see I feel like the spotlight really makes Sabrina anxious. I feel like it makes her very anxious and she doesn't you know she has to remain very guarded I feel like more I don't know I feel like something's gonna come out about her it's talking about how she is needing to be guarded or to feel guarded about something definitely another album is gonna come out for her in the next two to three years I pick up on 
Yeah. Okay, so another album, another project is going to be in the works for her, obviously. Um, seeing another tour for her. So yeah, guys, I'm not saying too much for Sabrina yet. I just feel like she's going to step away from the music industry. I think it's overwhelming for her at times. Um, I, I see her being okay with in her bubble that she's in. Um, but let me see if anything else is going to come out for her. Um, I keep picking up on a, a, a clothing collaboration. Possibly if she did, if she chooses to do it of dresses. Yeah, she's going to be taking a, a four-year break after she tours or after the COVID thing. That's a long period of time. Damn. I don't see Sabrina getting any bigger than what she is right now. Oh, I want her to get bigger. Yeah, she's going to step away. I do see marriage in the long run for her. I do see a baby for Sabrina. I feel like it's going to be... It's going to be a minute, though. Within the next four years, this could happen. Possibly. She's she's definitely in a relationship. That's what I'm saying. She's definitely in a relationship. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this reading on Sabrina Claudio. Um, yeah, this was a very short reading on her. There's not much to pull on. I just wanted to pull on her energy. I like her energy. She has a very soft energy about her very centered she's very sweet of a person but there is still more that i feel like she will evolve from and grow from i don't see this whole racist scandal leaving her and like letting people forget about the, that so i feel like this is going to be something sabrina has to continuously um address so yeah let me know guys in the long run i hope to do a more in-depth reading on her so let me know guys who you would like me to read on next leave your questions below and the artist or actress that you or actor that you would like me to read on i really enjoy you guys on my channel i really enjoy doing these videos so yeah hope you guys like the reading if you guys would like to book a personal reading with me please email me at shadestarot at yahoo.com and if you have not yet hit that subscribe button make sure you do so and hit that notification bell for when your girl pull up ding ding i hope you guys have a beautiful day or night whenever you're watching this namaste love and light